air care routine. Hello you guys, what is up? So I just wanted to start the vlog off by saying thank you to Abel for sponsoring this video. It is their fourth birthday haul and therefore they're having like a huge sale on their website. Everything is up to 50% off. They're having literal massive sales. Like this set is 50% off on their website. But yeah, I'm just gonna be showing you guys a haul in today's vlog. So stay tuned for that and enjoy. <laughs> scheduled it to go up today it's currently 12 30. i think i'm going to go home today i haven't been able to pick up madison's like buy madison's birthday gift because her birthday was on the 7th and i haven't gotten her birthday gift yet so i'm going to go pick her birthday gift up on the way to go home and she's home today so i'm gonna go get her her birthday gift because i wasn't able to buy it because there was like a problem going on with my visa card but anyways i'm gonna go buy her gift on the way there and because i also need to drop some stuff off for the accountant for taxes and stuff so yeah but anyways i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on like how i was moving out adjusting to a new reality and all this stuff honestly honestly i thought that this would be like such a huge change and like oh my god like i'm gonna have to do this and do that and it's gonna be so much more work moving out like that's how honestly how i thought moving out was going to be but it's like literally the opposite. I feel like I've been doing less cleaning because it's such a smaller place and I've been doing less dishes, like less everything. Like my parents really did prepare me for this moment of my life. Like they really did because I honestly, like it's not even that big of a like an adjustment. The only adjustment that it is is like, we're just the two of us living here. Like I don't live with my family anymore and that's obviously different, but in the other aspects like in terms of like having to go grocery shopping and um, having to make your own food and all that stuff like i kind of already did that at home my house anyways on a regular basis so to be honest it's really not that big of an adjustment like my parents really didn't baby us in the aspect of that type of thing like i always paid for like my own car insurance and i yes i didn't pay for rent but i still did pay for like pretty much almost everything besides that um my parents obviously bought like food and everything but besides that like i paid for everything that i wanted i paid for my car my gas like i've always paid for all that my insurance so it's not like honestly that big of an, an adjustment because i've always known how to like budget and save my money and also in terms of like doing chores like i've always done those at home and i've done i i feel like i've been doing more chores at home than i am now because i was always kind of cleaning like the big kitchen that we have with like everybody's dishes and now it's just my dishes and joel's dishes so it's like it feels like I'm like literally spending less time cleaning like it almost feels easier to be on my own And I know it's supposed to be the complete opposite and I'm sure things are still gonna come up like that I'm like, oh shit Like I didn't realize I need to do this or whatever But in terms of like right now, I've been adjusting great to be honest Like obviously I miss living with like my family and seeing them every day and like my animals and stuff like that's obviously like a hard adjustment but other than that aspect of things it's been a breeze and almost easier i feel like in terms of cleaning and all that shit like not that big of an adjustment so credit to my parents for you know letting me take that on kind of while still living at home as well so that it kind of prepared me for when i move out like, it was a very smooth transition to be honest so yeah that's a little update if you guys were wondering and i think i also got a comment that was like oh why didn't you take your animals with you um first of all they're not like mine they're my family's so they obviously weren't going to come with me because like my siblings uh some of my siblings still do live at home so like i wasn't going to take them plus um our landlord pretty much like really prefers that we don't have any pets anyway so um yeah but anyways i wasn't going to take them away anyways regardless because they're not mine specifically they're ours as a family so they will stay they will be staying in the family house as of now so yeah i'm literally so happy though like i've just been 
obviously I've just my mind has kind of just been busy these few weeks with moving and um you know dealing with this with my parents not supporting me like that's my mind has been busy with that but i'm really excited now i feel more grounded in terms of like we're settled in like now we're just waiting for a couple more things for the couch and i obviously still need to decorate like there's still a lot more to do but um now it feels like we're more settled in like we made this our home now like, and yeah i'm honestly so happy and i feel so free and truly living my best life and this just like really really reassures me that this is like the right decision like how i'm feeling every day and i'm so happy that i went for it because it was obviously a really scary decision to make but i know for a fact that it was the right decision so okay i'm just about to head out i'm just talking quietly right now because joel's on a call so i don't want to be too loud but this is the fit sweatpants um zip up with my nike runners not exactly sure what these are and my little thrifted purse that i wear every single day of my life <laughs> so yeah this is a cute fit and we're gonna leave now i will update you guys i just got home i ended up getting madison a green set from aritzia it's so freaking cute i'll show you guys after she opens it and then i got the pandora ring that she wanted so i'm so excited i'm literally gonna and then i wrote this card before but i'm literally gonna give it to her Right now, I'm so excited. Finally got her birthday gift. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys when she opens it, but it's so freaking cute. Oh my goodness, baby! Watch your cone! Hello! It's your cone head! Okay, so here's what I got Madison. She just opened it. Here is the ring from Pandora. She actually picked this out because we were at Pandora the other day together. And at this point, I didn't buy her birthday gift yet. And she was like, oh my god, like I love that ring. And I'm like, oh my god, perfect. I'm going to keep mental note of that. So then I went into the Pandora to get it for her because it's literally so cute. And she wears silver jewelry. And um, her friends also got her a couple of Pandora rings that are super cute and will go perfect with this. So now she has a whole nice quality stack of rings. So I got her that. And then this is the Aritzia suit that I got her. This is the boyfriend. I'll give show you guys a tag in case you want to get it. DNA Cozy Boyfriend um, crew neck. And it's just in this color green because she really likes green. And then I got it with matching shorts. This is literally the perfect set to like wear in the summer. Like on a summer evening or whatever to throw something on and it's so comfortable. Yeah, so just the matching shorts. And then these are the exact same teeny cozy shorts so these are my top picks for their birthday sale this is the first set that i got this is their animal print set this literally snatches me up okay i literally feel so confident in this and i usually wouldn't go for something patterny like this but i don't know what it is about this set that i literally just love it literally is just so flattering and the color is also so cute i'm actually obsessed I got both of these in a size extra small, I believe. I really need to get back into my workout game. I'm so excited to check out the gym here. And when the gym in the apartment is done, I'm so excited to get back into it. I think I'm gonna get back into working out next week because I just have to start again. But it's actually really hard to get back into it once you've stopped, but I need to push myself because I really do love working out. And yeah, so this is the first set that I got. So cute. So here is the next set that I got. This is a camo print, pink camo print. This is literally so freaking cute i'm kind of stepping out of my comfort zone here because usually i just always do plain shit but this is just so cute like it literally is adorable i'm in love here's a little close-up of the print it's so subtle but really cute i got this one in a size extra small both uh pieces as well so freaking cute um the sports bra is like literally the exact same as the last these sets are just so freaking comfortable and I can't wait to work out in them. Like I said, I need to get back. So this set on the website is currently 40% off, which is such a freaking good deal. Okay, I have one more set to show you guys. Here is the last set. I literally am in love with this one. The yellow, fun fact, when I was a kid, yellow was like my diehard color. It's like such a happy color. Anyways, this is my first workout set that I've ever gotten in yellow and I am living for it. But here is the back. So freaking cute. This is a little bit of a different sports bra style. Has more of like a round neck and is a little bit longer. So freaking cute. This is literally going to look so fire when I'm tanned in the summer and going to work out. I'm so excited. I finally have some like really fun and colorful workout sets now. And I'm obsessed. The quality is literally so good and their sets are so cute. So make sure to go click my links down below. Because this is literally the biggest sale that they're having on their website for their fourth birthday sale. Um, so it's so exciting and we can also be matching if you get the same pieces as me So yeah, thank you so much again for able for sponsoring this video and yeah, everything will be linked down below
Okay, you guys, I literally just got home. Um, I just took a shower because I got my call time for tomorrow because I'm going to be on set. And I'm literally going to be, like, my call time is 6.30 a.m. So I'm literally going to be waking up by, like, maybe, like, even 5 a.m. I don't even know. So, it's currently 9.50 and me and Joel, no, it's 9.20. Me and Joel just had dinner. So, yeah, I needed to get my hair washed ASAP because it takes a while to dry and I also need to like straighten it before tomorrow. So I want to make sure that I can hopefully do that by tonight because I really don't want to wake up earlier to straighten my hair because that would just be like so annoying. So, I just wanted to come on here real quick because I got a couple of questions actually on my previous vlogs about my hair care routine and like my keratin treatment. So if you're interested, you can watch this segment and if not, you can just skip to the next segment. So I got a keratin treatment in October, the beginning of October. And basically what a ker keratin treatment is, it like relaxes your hair. My hair, my natural hair is like really, really frizzy and really curly like it literally dries this way that's my natural hair texture and it's very frizzy and curly and when i didn't get the character treatment done it took me like an hour and 20 minutes to straighten it because it was so frizzy i had to do like little by little sections um and then once i got the character treatment in october i literally could wash my hair and i had to do nothing afterwards my hair would dry perfectly like absolutely perfectly and the only thing that i had to do to maintain it was use good quality shampoo because the keratin treatment is going to wash out over time it's just kind of like coating your hair so it's it it'll wash out like it wash it washes out so the better quality shampoo that you use and the less that you wash your hair the longer it'll last so it's been about five months since I got the treatment done and it has grown out a lot like I would say like my hair it's probably grown out till maybe like about here maybe even more I'm not sure my hair definitely is like washing out like I can tell a huge difference um now I actually have to straighten it and I can't just leave it air dry anymore I can still let it air dry though and it's still gonna be a lot better than like my natural natural hair but and it's still also like to straighten it now it probably takes half an hour versus an hour and 20 minutes like it did before the treatment so she said that just come back to get it done whenever you see it fading so i could probably go back to get it done again but i think i'm just going to wait a little bit longer because it is really pricey to do uh, it costed me like 400 dollars to get the character treatment done but honestly so freaking worth it if it's 400 dollars twice a year that is so worth it for me because my hair was a pain in the butt to style. I couldn't just let it ever air dry. Like it was honestly a pain in the butt. It took so much time and it really saved my time. Like getting the character treatment saves me in the mornings. Like even when I have to wake up super early, I used to not even have to touch my hair in the morning. Like I can just literally go to bed with it wet and it can air dry perfect. So it was literally the best $400 I've ever spent. So I'm definitely going to go back to her eventually, but I think I might just wait another month or two. Because right now I'm kind of at the mid phase where it's not completely washed out, but I can still, I can still see the effects of it. So it's like not horrible. So if you see that my hair is like really shiny and stuff, um, if you notice that through my videos, that is the keratin treatment. I'm not saying that my hair wasn't shiny before, but just because like the, the frizziness and the texture of my hair, it was hard to get it as shiny as the keratin treatment made it. So literally the character treatment made my hair so freaking soft, so shiny, so easy to style. When I first got it done, if I wanted to get it pinned straight, it would literally take me five minutes. Like it was so nice. So yeah, just wanted to give you like an update on the character treatment because I know I got it like so long ago and I haven't really done an update yet. But coming out of the shower nowadays, all that I do is I'll comb my hair with a wide tooth comb. I just use this Olaplex, um, this one. Focus. So I just use this one on the tips of my hair. I literally just put like a bit and then I'll kind of just like run it through the ends of my hair and that's about it. So after I do that, I just go in with this. It's a 10 leave-in conditioner and then I just take this and kind of spray it everywhere to be honest. The one thing that I did notice about getting the keratin treatment was that it made my hair greasy a lot faster, a lot faster than it would normally get because my normal hair texture is kind of more dry. So once I had like the oils in my hair and like the nice shiny hair, it would make my hair so much more, like I would have to shower, wash my hair like two to three times a week and use dry shampoo a lot. So that's the only con to it. That's the only downside to it is it does, it will make your hair a lot more greasy faster so that's the only con to it that i've noticed 
Um, and as my hair is growing out now, I notice it's getting less and less greasy. Honestly, it's like a good trade-off. Like, I don't really care. But anyway, so yeah, that's what I do for my hair. That's my little hair care routine. And I usually just let it air dry. And then in the morning or whenever, I'll straighten it or blow dry it or just style it in some way now. Because I have to because it's like growing out and everything. And the character treatment is washing out. <laughs> right now sometimes i'll feel nauseous so that's a good sign because i don't feel nauseous at least not yet sometimes the nauseousness does hit me a little later but so now i'm not feeling nauseous yet which is good whenever i wake up this early whenever like my alarm rings my mind like incorporates the alarm into my dream because it's like i'm so tired that it doesn't even know like i should be waking up so it literally incorporates the alarm into like one of my dreams and then it rings for so long. I'm also going to try to leave by like 5.50 um, to be there to leave 40 minutes early. No, because like I have to. The place is only like 20 minutes away from me. But I always like to be extra early just in case because sometimes it's hard to find like the crew park and everything. So I always like to give myself extra time because I literally hate being late. Like one of the things that stresses me out the most is rushing. I hate hate rushing and being late like it just stresses me out a little bit especially when it's like for something to do with work you guys are wondering like how i do background acting all i did was search up like background agencies vancouver so search up wherever you are and then i just like applied for an agency and then i got in and submitted some photos and stuff and they started like booking me and stuff so it's actually really easy. Okay guys, I am all ready. It's 5.40, absolutely been 10 minutes. So I'm thinking I might make myself a coffee because Sometimes I just don't like the coffee that they have there. Like, it's it's fine. Like, and it'll do. But sometimes it just doesn't hit. So I'm debating making myself a coffee to go. But, like, at the same time, I don't really feel like having one right now. I just kind of want, like, the energy. <laughs> it's, it's too early for the show. Oh, my goodness. It's also my last day of being, I was going to say 19. Excuse me? I was literally about to say 19. My last day being 21 today because tomorrow i turn 22 i feel like 22 is just like a good freaking year it sounds like a good year so i'm excited yay bye guys mm -hmm.